Hello piggy people. So today's video I want to talk to you about the three most important things to do if your guinea pig is sick. So number one, the most important thing to do is call your vet and make an appointment. If you cannot get in that day or the next day, I would be calling a different clinic because it's really important to get in in a timely manner when your guinea pig is not well, especially if they are not eating or drinking properly. Uh, Scotty's Animals did a huge list of vets that all of you guys recommended. So if you want to go to his website, I'll put it up here on the screen. You can check out his vet list. It's a great idea to not only have one vet, but a couple other backup vets that you can visit in case of an emergency. So I know in the past people have kind of given me some flack that I automatically tell people to go to the vet. Here's my reasoning. If you're somebody who's capable of looking after some things at home, you have supplies at home and you have the knowledge, you're going to do so. But if you're somebody who's yelling on the internet or in comments like, oh my god, I have an emergency, help me, what do I do? Clearly you need a trained professional to help you, guide you, and give you medications and to figure out what's going on with your guinea pig. It is my personal opinion that... If you don't know what's going on with your guinea pig, it's a time waster to be asking random people on the internet. You might get misinformation. You might waste time waiting for answers. Vets are trained for this. They know how to diagnose things. They know how to give out medications. They're the ones who ultimately you need to see in order to get your guinea pig better. So asking random people on the internet, in my opinion, is just a time waster. Number two, the second most important thing is to make sure your guinea pig is eating and drinking properly. So some guinea pigs, when they're not feeling right, aren't eating or drinking enough or aren't eating or drinking at all. In less than 12 hours, a guinea pig's body can completely shut down if they are not eating or drinking properly. So it's super important that you hand feed them. I recommend every one to two hours getting in at least 20 mils of food and whatever water you can get into them safely. So have on hand recovery food. I personally use the Sherwood recovery food. Oxbow has critical care, and in a pinch you can take their pellets and mush them up into water, but it's so important that you keep them eating to keep them alive. What I would personally get is a one mil syringe, cut the tip off, that's what I find the easiest for hand feeding. You can get syringes online, pharmacies, doctor's offices, probably like hardware stores, so many places. So pick those up, have them on hand, get your guinea pig eating and drinking while you wait for your vet appointment and do the same while they're dur during recovery if they're not eating and drinking well on their own. Number three, when your guinea pig's unwell, it's super important to make sure you're keeping them warm and comfortable. So you kind of have to assess this on a case by case basis. Some guinea pigs, when unwell, they're still capable of moving around perfectly fine, of eating and drinking and hanging with their friends. Other guinea pigs just do not have the strength or the will or the fight in them to get pushed or bossed around from other pigs. So sometimes if they're really unwell, unfortunately, other guinea pigs will be very pushy, pushing them away from food or water. Your guinea pig might be very tired and does not want to walk around to get food or water. So in these cases, I find decreasing the cage size significantly to help. So if you have a pair of pigs, I would just make them both live in a much smaller cage where food and water are super accessible. If you have a herd of guinea pigs, my preference is to section that one ill guinea pig off on their own in a small section within the large cage so that they're still near their friends but they only have a very small section to move around so that their food and water are very accessible and nobody is pushing them around. And you can assess this on a daily basis. Maybe they just need one or two days on their own to get their strength back and then can go back with their friends. But I do think it's really important not to make them suffer by having to fight for their food and not watching them just stay in a bed like 10 feet away from their food and water. It's just not fair. You just need to make sure you're keeping in mind what they need. And also this might include having a heat pad under their bedding. 
Some guinea pigs, when they're sick, obviously are not going to be able to keep their temperature up because they're not feeling right. So putting a heat pad or a microwavable heat pod under their bed or wherever they're choosing to kind of stay is going to really benefit them as well. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!